Hey, it's me. I don't know how many of you are here with me today, how many people clicked on this video, because this one is definitely out of nowhere and a little bit different. Um, If you were here for my art room tour, you may recall that I pointed out several different areas of my art room that have been bothering me. They're just not well organized. This drawer is not well organized. This one could use a little sprucing. I need to go through this. I could really do better to organize all of this. Um. Maybe this isn't the best storage solution for that. I really like things like super well organized, like everything in a very specific place. But to get to that level of obsession, it's a commitment. I've come to the conclusion that I'm just gonna film it and make it this week's video. I'm dragging you with me a little bit. Sorry. I am also going to tackle a big organizational task that I haven't revisited since the video that I did a long time ago, reorganizing all of my squishies. <sighs> I have to redo my system, so that should be interesting. There's a lot to do in this video, so let's move in to organizing my art room and squishies. First step of reorganizing any space, crawl around like a weirdo. Stick out the leg, 90 degrees, and down. Strike a pose, spirit fingers. If you don't do it like that, you're just not gonna have a good experience. Okay, all right, all right then. Sorry about my appearance, the unmakeup <laughs> face, the clashing colors of my shirt to my leggings. I would say, it gets better, but honestly, it gets worse. Anyway, enough about my face. The actual first step to my process, I bought a bunch of organizational products. When I say a bunch, I mean a massive amount to the level of obnoxion. It's my word. Look it up. <laughs> So yes, I hoard things to store my hoard of things. I'm now sharing my illness with you openly. Hopefully it's not contagious. But even though this looks like an unnecessarily large mass of bins, organizers, containers, and things, we are gonna have no problem putting this to good use. So let's start with exhibit A. Oh, it's a cute, innocent little cabinet with rainbows. But aha, there's a monster living inside and it's disgusting. This is all dollar store stuff. Here I have paintable fabrics. Who's living next door? Oh, hi neighbor, you're ugly. It's all my paintable wooden pieces. So I have put some thought into what goes where, but I still hate this because it's all just shoved in there an avalanche waiting to happen. So it's time for evacuation. I'm getting everything out. We are gonna have to completely start over here. And then there's exhibit B. Oh my gosh. Do you remember the mess this was in when you last saw it? Well, it's worse now. This is where I store most of my art supplies that I do use, but not all the time. They're not my go-tos, but I do go to them sometimes. Cool story. And they've just congregated in this dog pile of torture and sadness. What a disrespectful way to store art supplies. I'm embarrassed. Everyone needs to get out of this toxic situation. Look at these loose markers. What is that? We have to agree that this is madness. Yes. All right, finish gathering all of that up. While I'm at it, I just gave the drawer a little wipe down, cleaned it up, found a... Th thing. Ew. Still don't know what that is. And okay, I'm showing my soiled paper towel. Is this really what my content has come to? I've laid all of it out on the ground where I'm going to begin the next part of the process. So here I am. Remember this fool? I put shoes on so you don't have to stare at my socked feet. Thank you for that. And oh, did I put on eyeshadow? Yes, I did. I need to see all of what I have and then start sorting things into the different organizers. And it's a little bit of a puzzle. We're just waiting on that brand to process everything. Come on, little buddy, you got this. I noticed all these paint brushes that I had still in packaging, so I'm taking them all out, discarding the packaging by throwing it right right there. And then, oh, what am I showing you? Oh, a broken paintbrush? Okay, nobody cares, dude. I'm placing them naked inside of the organizer, and that's really gonna help to consolidate everything and keep it neat. Look at that, so much better. Now I can just test what fit we have here. This will work splendidly. Carrying on, I'm continuing to just get rid of any unnecessary packaging. Even when it's nice, pretty, good quality packaging and it slightly hurts to get rid of it, it's for the greater good. Keeping art supplies in the original packaging, it makes them harder to use and it just takes up more space. I got this baby, which is a paper organizer, but I thought that it was just the thing to organize all of my watercolor palettes, etc. This is my chalk pastel set that I've had for probably 10 years, hence the deteriorating packaging. And unfortunately, I think 
the packaging is also here to stay because they make a mess everywhere. Not really happy about this, but I'm doing it. It's going in there. I found my lovely oil pastels. They bring such joy. I bought these when I was like 17 before I knew that I hate them. That's fine. They can stay for another 10 years. These glass paints, however, I hate. They're really crappy and they're probably almost dried out at this point. So bye. And now I have to clean that up. Put those away into the trash pile. There you go. Found another container of very old paints. I thought for sure that these would be dried out. Apparently not. Well done, smart one. Thank you. By the time I've gotten through all of my go-to, sometimes, art supplies, I've filled quite a collection of organizers. Ooh, look at them. They are appealing. So now it's just time to deal with this trash. I'm here saying hi. Hi. Look at all this empty packaging that I'm able to get rid of. It's big trash. So I'm getting excited. Whoa, you're horrible. It's time to actually put all of my freshly organized supplies into their new home. Ooh, they look so good. Tell me I'm not the only one getting emotional here. The art supplies used to be crammed into this drawer, but I felt like putting them in this cabinet was a much better way to store them where I can easily see all of the supplies that I've got with labels. Did you notice? I'm way too proud of this, but this just makes me feel so much better. So now what about all the items that were in these cabinets before? For all the paintable fabric, I switched it into one of those pull-out bins that was empty. I felt like this was just gonna be a much more orderly way to store all of it. Moving on to all my wooden pieces. The cabinet in which these resided before has been one of my least favorite places in my art room. Every time I try to find something in there, it's an avalanche. So reorganizing all of this is way more exciting to me than it should have been. Look at my drawer now. Oh, this just makes me want to paint all of these things so badly. Hi, we're going to take a quick break because this video is sponsored by Dragon City. Dragon City is a free to play mobile game that is available on all all devices where you can collect thousands of different dragons and build your own dragon empire. I've been sponsored by Dragon City before and they are bringing back the Mariah Dragon once again available for download. They designed a custom dragon based on me. I still cannot get over it. Okay, the pickle onesie, it gets me every time. You start with the cute little dragon egg and then it hatches and you get to watch the dragon grow into the full size. There are a couple different ways to get the Mariah Dragon. You can get it in a breeding event through the offers or on Fog Island. In this game, you get to collect food, gold, and gems to expand your city and unlock new levels. There are player to player modes where you can fight your friends and weekly events to collect rewards and new dragons. You can download the game through the link in the description so that you can get the special Mariah offer or by using this QR code. That's very cool. Am I the only one still like baffled by the technology of QR codes? Probably. <laughs> this special offer comes with plenty of gold, food, and gems to get you started. So check out the game and thank you to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Next, we're gonna move into a completely fresh area. Well, it's not fresh, it's just new to our eyeballs. Also, I have all this extra fluffy clay that technically should be in there. So we gotta make room for that somehow. Let's get everything out. And this, this is some really old clay that I bought for making slime. Gotta be like five years ago now. So this definitely dried up. That's all useless, okay? So much clay has died in the drawers of my art room. I've gotta stop letting this happen. There has been enough death here. I'm thinking I'm gonna make this drawer exclusively for clay. I tried organizing them neatly in the bin, but then I got annoyed and then just tried tossing them in there. I brought in more fluffy clay, which came from another drawer. Oh no, it's happening. The chaos. Speaking of chaos, I hate this. I'm gonna go back and try to straighten all of these little containers up. The only problem is they don't all fit in there exactly, perfectly. I decided to just keep in there what fits perfectly and then take all the overflow clay and set that to the side. Let's straighten this up. Magic. Here's the new home for my Sculpey clay and my clay tools. And oh, that's... That's my child. This organizing thing was taking days and days. So I was trying to get some of it done in the evening, hence the child. There she is again. This is how my clay drawer ended up. It's gorgeous. Now all my clay is in one spot. Well, except for those little overflow containers. We'll address that later. Let's journey on to a happy place. It's my drawer of little shinies. I feel like this 
this drawer has been slightly taken over by the non little shinies in all their not shininess. Why are they here? And it just so happens that right next drawer, like next door, but next drawer. So, so funny. There's a vacancy. So I wanna make a new drawer of little shinies only for the shiniest of the shinies. And poof, this is truly a space for little shinies. Now back over here, I've emptied out both this drawer and this drawer and come over with me. We've got a mess again. This is all just a ton of stuff and it needs to be resorted. Also, I have this um, catastrophe. I brought my child in here with me. She had quite a fun time swimming <laughs> in the pom-poms. Here I am, uh, hi again. This is day three of doing this. I'm still in the midst of a mess. Let's get to work. Oh, I just need a quick refuel already. Good, good, onward. This is much the same process that I was doing before, just rearranging things. And now it's time to face it, the pom-pom dilemma. I have so many pom-poms. It's frankly out of control and I'm trying to figure out the best way to contain this, but it's stumping me. I decided to use this organizer. This was my first time actually feeling the large pom-poms. They kind of feel like cotton balls and I'm not a big fan of that. I'm gonna fill up this organizer to its maximum capacity and then just take all the extra ones, bag them up and put them to the side. And not to forget the very fun task of picking up each and every one of these pom-poms on the floor. Now this is quite a massive overflow supply, but you know, that's what happens when you have an excessive amount of pom-poms. Taking my overflow overflow ribbon. Why am I walking like that? I have all these tiny little beads and jewelry things, and I decided to resort all of this into these little plastic containers. It's gonna make it much easier to see what I've got. This took absolutely forever. There's just so many little things. But after several hours of sorting and rehousing, everything is in its place. Everything is organized in a way that makes sense. So putting things away now, wow, I'm tired just watching this video. This was a lot of work. Work, but it is so worth it when everything comes together. For this top drawer, it's kind of just like all the leftover stuff that didn't really fit anywhere else. Honestly, not my best work, but you know, it exists and I'm okay with its existence. Let me go back to my happy place for a second. Ooh, ah, yeah, that's good. I feel better now. Okay, moving up and... Please stop. This lovely upper cabinet is my overflow cabinet. Up here is where I'm gonna shove all the supplies that didn't quite fit into the organizers. I can come in here and refill. It's not the prettiest cabinet. It's ugly, but it's very functional. Back to filling drawers. Here are my containers of little things. Oh, and they don't fit perfectly in there. No. <gasps> Devastating blow. This is what hardship looks like. But I've gotta just go with it, try to be strong, and just shove these little tiny containers in the side gap and pretend like that's ideal when it's really not. Moving right down, this is my puffy paint drawer. There are currently many bottles of paint that are basically empty, not really usable. So I went through the whole collection, got rid of any of that, and then I'm taking this big weird thing to just organize this drawer just a little bit more. The drawer down here needs the same treatment. There we go, wonderful. Moving on to this drawer, which is actually in my painting table. I've complained about how ugly this drawer is in the past. This is one of the uglier places in my art room. And I mean, I'm doing my best to clean it up here, but it's cords and boxes. I call these boxes. It's just not that cute. It won't keep me up at night anymore. It has been, but I'm not gonna jump for joy about it either. And then there's this. I love everything here, but it's just all kind of thrown randomly. I got this big acrylic display stand to really help me neaten everything up and make it so that it's all nice and visible. Yeah, that's nice, that's better. And oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Uh, look at me, just look at me. It's it's day four of this and I'm looking the worst. My pants are two sizes too big and my hair. What have I done to, to my, my hair? hair? Apparently I've just given up. It's time to address the squishy situation. Now, a couple years ago, I spent an entire video organizing my squishy collection. And because of that, my squishies did stay nice and organized for a good long time. However, since then I've moved and I switched all of the squishies into new bins, which means the categories that I originally set up have gotten all types of out of whack. So it's time to deal with it. I think you might be able to tell my squishy collection has grown even more in the past few years. What I thought was ridiculous has reached an even bigger level of ridiculous. All, also me, I'm ridiculous as well. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, let's do this. This seems very familiar. Dumping out all the squishies
squishies on the ground, except for a couple select bins that did manage to stay organized, so I'm not gonna dump those out, and they're just, all the squishies are coming out. Now there's a giant mountain of squishies on the floor. Last time I was very immature and did all kinds of nonsense, but you know, it's been a couple years. I've grown up, I'm not gonna do that stuff anymore, except that I am. It's happening again. This time is a little bit different because I've already spent four days filming this video at this point. I kind of got to hustle now. I have to sort every single one of these squishies into a category. They all need to go somewhere. Looking at this pile, I'm starting to get worried. Well, it's too late to turn back now, so might as well just get to it. It's just a matter of getting all the squishies into the right bin, which became almost like a never-ending carnival game. Toss the squishy into the bin for hours on end. But it really needed to be done, and it is worth it because once things are organized, you don't have to spend time looking for things. And also, it just makes me feel so much better and makes me excited to use all the things that I have available to me. Oh, and another quick refuel and me eating like a wild animal get back to work by the way if you're new here and don't understand why I have an excessive amount of squishies basically I started a series a couple years back where I fix and repaint used or broken squishies and so people have been mailing me their old damaged squishies for years and turns out people can mail them to me a lot faster than I can get to painting them so the collection just continues to grow and I'm finally starting to get down to the wire here oh oh watch Watch, watch all the squishies dwindling. They're dwindling. And yes, that's it. Every squishy has been sorted. Hallelujah. Now I'm just stacking all the bins back up into the squishy bin mountain formation. And it doesn't really look much different than it did at the start of the process. But trust me, it is. It's very different. For the final step, I made a bunch of new labels for these. I kept them real simple, okay? Mostly because I was pretty much exhausted by this point. But they're kind of cute. And bam, this is my entire squishy collection collection fully organized. We've got animals one, two, and three, my favorites, cake, ice cream and drinks, donuts and cupcakes, mixed desserts, people and objects, animal desserts, minis, the hopeless bin, savory food, bread and buns, and fruit. Woo! And those are all the areas that I was able to organize within my art room for this video. Honestly, there are still a few places that I would like to deal with at some point, but this was a really long one and I really just crammed as much much into this video as I could, so we've gotta wrap it up. I know this wasn't the regular video that I do here, but I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye!